not easy being me We'll wash your face and brush your hair We'll nag, 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 it's just not fair I'm horrid Henry Sometime we're school, I'm gonna rule And when I'm king, I'll do my thing And then my life will be so sweet I'm horrid Henry Finish these three. But I want a. Oh, my! It's a gold gizmo! What? No! I got blue! Green! Uh, yellow? Bird? Uh, I don't know. It's black! <laughs> what gizmo did you get? Um, actually, I got silver. <gasps> no way! <laughs> That's nothing. I got gold. Never! You're so lucky. Is it beautiful? Can we see it? Wow! A boy with a gold gizmo could do anything! <laughs> bring it to school, do I? It might get stolen. My lunchbox was stolen once. Rubbish! You haven't got a gold gizmo, Henry, and you know it. If you had one, you'd be showing it off. Come on, Henry, show us. Show us, show us, show us, show us. Take something mega clever. Chess set? Marbles? Ugh. Coin collection? What are you doing? Just seeing what I want when you're gone. I'm really sorry about the gold gizmo. Why? Everybody wants a gold one. But what about the curse? What curse? It's been in all the papers. Every single person who's got a gold gizmo dies a horrible death. That's not true! It is. Didn't you see about that girl? She got a gold gizmo and she fell down the toilet and drowned. <coughs> then there was the boy who was out with his gold gizmo and his dog. And they fell right into a pit of molten lava. And all because of the curse of the gold gizmo. Oh no! I saw it! The giant flying curse bird of tragedy! It's a sign that you are doomed! I am not doomed! Ah! 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 I'm doomed! Ah! Ah! I don't want to die! <laughs> well, if you give the gold gizmo to someone else, the curse passes to them. I suppose I could take the risk. I know you'd risk your life for me. Henry, you're the best brother in the world. <laughs> Easy peasy. <clears throat> Margaret's 
here, Lord High Majesty. I can't wait till tomorrow. If you really have got one, I want to see it. Now. Uh, Peter, I'll have some crisps, some chocolate and then even more chocolate. Right away. My big brother's so brave. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, where is it? I want it. No way! A cool gizmo is everything. I'm not giving it up. I'll get you a double drencher. A 3,000? If you like. Brand new? In the box. You're on. Tomorrow? At school. Be there. Tomorrow's going to be a good day. Just for a double drench of 3,000, I want a better offer. On Monday, you can all bring your best swaps and I'll see if any are good enough. or there'll be no TV for a week. But I need it for my auction! Henry! I want a gold gizmo! Condensed milk, baked beans. Oh, Henry, I'm going to the supermarket. Do you want anything? You can't go! Uh, not yet! Why not? Because uh, I want to go with you, but I can't go until... until... until I clean my room. You want to clean your room? <laughs> I can wait for that. Market. Not to mention that we had to buy every box in the store. That's no TV for a month. And we'll be reassessing your pocket money downwards. Now go to your room and stay there. Oh, the 
humiliation. What'll we do with these? We can't let Henry have them. No, we can't. But I know exactly who to give them to. I hope you brought your best. What do you want to give me for this? <laughs> to carry everything on my own. Oh, thank you, Henry. Peter, go and get yourself dried off and put that silly toy away. Mum got me a double drench of 3,000! And it's not even my birthday! This is so special! With this, no one is safe! Won't eat carrots, won't eat greens, won't eat beans, won't eat... Yeah! Double trencher! Let go, Henry! Oh, it's not for you! Not for me? No, it's a prize for the school fair. No! You can't give away my double trencher as a prize! Well, maybe you'll be lucky and win it. You have the same chance as everybody else. The same chance? That's not fair! Do you hear me? It's not fair! Henry, I need your donations for the school fair now. I'm not giving away my toys. Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. No, not Spotty Dog! No! <sighs> Here are my toys, Mum. I want to share them with other less fortunate children. Well, what a generous boy you are. I'm waiting, Henry. OK, I'll find something. Now let's get this straight. I like getting. I hate giving. But for some things, I'm willing to make an exception. You're not going to give away the walkie-talkie, burpy-slurpy, teasy-weezy doll that Great Aunt Greta gave you for Christmas? Mum! Great Aunt Greta thinks I'm a girl. And this one is for my darling niece, Henrietta. It's Henry Aunt Greta. I'm a boy. Eh? No, it's not a toy, Henrietta. <laughs> it's a doll? What am I going to do with a doll? Take it or leave it. Thank you, Henry. Now, I don't want either of you to go in the living room for a while. I've got to work out the treasure map for the pirate prize. You're doing the treasure map? Here! Well, somebody has to. She's doing the treasure map here, in our house! Eureka! That's it! That double drencher is mine! Other. Your father and I are helping with the games. Huh? Oh, what shall we do first? Get lost, worm. I have to buy my ticket before anyone else gets my number. Oh, uh, just keep an eye on myself then. Where's the pirate prize booth? Other side of this tent, I think. Want a bite? Yeah, thanks. Oi, come back! to be the next to 
play. Ah, oh, Henry, you're an eager volunteer. No, I can't. I, I have to get to. Don't be shy now. Just do your best. Oh, come back, Henry. <laughs> Hello! We're not open yet, Henry. Come back later. There he is! Get him! Gotta go! Huh? Who's next? Sit properly there. Whee! <laughs> Tickets can now be purchased for the pirate prize competition. Take a chance, win a prize. Gangway! Coming through! Choose number 42 before I can. Okay, calm down. Think. What would Rapper Zapper do? This is where ordinary mortals would give up. But I will fight my enemies one by one and I will triumph! <laughs> okay, who's first? Rude Ralph. Easy. I'm gonna mash you to pieces! Calm down, I'll make it up to you. I'll tell you what the winning number is. Really? Sure, and I'll tell you for only 50p. Deal! It's number 95. <laughs> Hi, Andrew. Uh, you do know that the first prize is a bungee jump, don't you? What? And the second prize is two bungee jumps. <laughs> don't try a button. Don't need to. I know the winning number. Want to buy it? Which number is going to win? Number 42. It is. Honestly, number 42 is the winner. You owe me 50p. You really think I'm falling for that one, Henry? Ugh, I'm picking 31. Yes! Putty in my hands! Oh no! Beefy Bird jumped the queue! Ah! 42's gone! Beefy Bird's got my ticket! I'll give you 50p for that ticket. I don't know. And my new football. I don't know. OK, OK. 50p, my new football and a Killer Boy Rats poster. Uh, I don't know. Look, Henry. I bought a treasure map ticket and a raffle ticket. Go away, worm. I'm busy. Do we have a deal? Great. I'll bring your stuff to... 75? I don't want this number. Somebody's got my ticket. Peter? Peter's got my ticket! Peter! Peter, come back here! Ah! Listen, worm, you've got number 42. I want it. I'll give you 50p for it. But I like this ticket. It's mine. Oh, I think I should keep it because... How much? One pound. Forty-two! Yes! Mwah! Come on, let's have some fun! You can do it. You can do it. I can't do it! Ahem. <laughs> Attention, Pirate Prize ticket holders. The winner will be announced shortly. Listen, it's prize getting time. I, I'm really, really sorry, Miss Lovely. And the winner is... Number 42! Yes! You lied to me! You told me the truth! The winner! I'm afraid not, Henry. Your ticket is for the raffle, not the treasure chest. Who has number 42? Both your tickets were 42. It's my age in doggy years. <laughs> my life is over. Um, would the holder of raffle ticket number 42 please come to the raffle booth and collect your prize? Wait, hear that? I won the raffle. Gangway! Winner coming through! 42, 42, I've got number 42. 
Congratulations, Henry. For you. Henry, you're taking them on no school trip, and that means no ice cream. Blackmailed by my own dad. We're going to the Frosty Freeze ice cream factory. That's better than Peter. His class are going to the boring old town museum. Hey, copycat worm! You're wearing the same shirt as me! Take it off! Mum said I can wear what I want, and I want to wear this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Be horrid, Henry, or you'll spend the rest of the day in your room. But I don't want him wearing the same thing as me. Henry, stop making a fuss. No one will notice. Good, because I don't want anyone to know we're related. Factory is closed today. Aww. So we're going to the museum instead. And I have the pleasure of being your tour guide extraordinaire while you grace our premises. I want to see the dinosaurs. Me too. That's impossible, I'm afraid. Our new dinosaur exhibit is presently closed to the public. My dad says you've got a mummy. Well, dear, most of us do have mum. Oh, <laughs> of course, how silly of me. <laughs> you mean the, uh, the, the mummy from the ancient Egypt exhibit? Egypt Gallery had to make way for the dinosaur exhibit, so it too is closed to the public. Well, let's come back when they're open. Young man, this is a place of learning. For those who find civilized behavior impossible, we have a naughty children's room. You would be wise to avoid it. Follow me, class. See, our permanent exhibit tells the story of this very spot throughout history. The flora on display here once covered this entire Looks like stuff in our garden. <laughs> Let us start with the soil, the very earth beneath our feet, unchanged since the dawn of humanity. <sighs> see it. Everyone help! I want all the worms 
picked up immediately. Responsible for this. I am very disappointed. Very disappointed. <laughs> There's lovely. Those early settlements were really interesting. Wait for me. Let's get the other one after lunch. Catch up your classmates. No, that's my brother's class. My class is out here. Camera and sound system work. You can shut it down. <laughs> and well done, George. I bet that kid's too scared to touch anything for a while. Goodbye. George, was that you? Are you sure? Well done! And next 
next time we'll go to the ice cream factory. Yes! Oh! Henry, you horrid boy! <laughs> it's not easy being me. We'll wash your face and brush your hair. We'll nag, nag, nag. It's just not fair. I'm horrid Henry. I want you to add these numbers, then multiply the answer by this number, then divide it by this number, then speak of the lady the little Take this, alien math monster! <laughs> Calm down, everyone. Maths never hurt anyone. <laughs> you saved us! Well, someone had to get rid of the maths monster! Henry? Henry? Henry! Are you listening to me? Now, which of you deserves a brave badge? Uh, me, miss! I saved us from the maths monster! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. As I was saying, we'll find out tomorrow who is brave and who is not. Because tomorrow is... Injection Day! Injection Day?! No! It's only an injection. It's not like it's major surgery. Silence, worm. Don't be nervous, Henry. Ha! Nervous? Why would I be nervous? It's only an injection. That's right. It's just a few centimetres of needle jabbed into your flesh. <laughs> and the winner of the Out and... Ah! Oh. Henry? Henry? Uh. Uh. Henry, time for school. I can't go to school today, Mum. Wherever not. Well, I've got a cough. <coughs> oh, come on, Henry. You'll have to do better than that. Um, uh, the school burnt down uh, yesterday. Oh, I didn't see any flames. Silence, worm. Don't be horrid, Henry. I can't go to school today because I I've broken my leg. Ow! Ow! Ooh, the pain. Ooh. Poor Henry. I know it's injection day today, Henry, and you are going to school whether you like it or not. Now, let me see. B for broken leg. Just lie back and relax, Henry. I can help you. Yes, Peter. Yes, you can. <laughs> but I don't want to pretend to be you for the day. You'll get to play in the big boy's playground. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> And you'll get to sit in the big boy's class. So? You'll get maths homework. Oh, oh, goody! I love maths homework! Um, but if I'm you, won't I get your injection?
kitchen. Oh, yeah, uh, I hadn't thought of that. But think of all that maths homework. This is never going to work. Of course it will. Henry? Peter? <sighs> You're right. It's never going to work. Better not leave a mark. My arms are beautiful and I want them to stay that way. You better hope she doesn't hit an artery. This causes massive blood loss, gangrene and possible amputation. That means they cut your arm off. <gasps> oh, please. It's only a pinprick. Yeah, only a pinprick. <laughs> oh, don't pick me. Please don't pick me! William, you're next. <laughs> I don't want to go! Save me! Somebody save me! <laughs> <laughs> don't be silly, William. It's only an injection. Yeah, cry baby! <laughs> There's no way I'm going to cry. Uh -uh. Not me! I'm tough and strong! Oh, I could take anything! <laughs> Margaret! <laughs> Can't wait to hear you scream! This is almost worth having an injection for! Hearing Margaret scream! Any moment! Now? Huh. I've never seen such a big needle! You can't frighten me! It's as long as my arm! The bigger the better! Henry! No! I don't want an injection! I want my mummy! Me too! <laughs> and me! Mummy! Mummy! Oh! Run, everybody! Run for your lives! <laughs> Henry. Oh, oh, hi there, Nurse Needle. Uh, is it my turn now? Shall I roll up my sleeve? Thank you, Henry. But the injection will be in your other arm. The other arm? Oh. I wish the teachers wouldn't leave their lunch lying around. seem a bit warm. Well, I can't give you this injection if you're not well. You can't? No, I can't. So how do you feel? <laughs> oh, you poor thing. You need to go home and get some rest. No injection for you today. <laughs> Great! No injection, tea in bed, and no school tomorrow! You all right, Henry? More ice cream, please! Is it helping your sore throat? Oh, yes, it's very soothing. Of course, some chocolate sauce would really help. Well, OK, but only if the doctor says you can. 
Hello, Henry. I hear you're not feeling well. <coughs> just, just got a <coughs> bit of a <coughs> cough. Breathe in. <gasps> Does it hurt here? Oh, yes. Very painful. And here? Oh, the pain. The pain. And what about here? Ow! That really hurts! Well, that is most unusual. Well? I'm afraid there's only one cure for what Henry's got. Of course, an injection. Henry. Oh, I love slime. But not at the table. Give it to me. But I'm taking it to school. No, you're not. But I've got to take something so we can bury it. Bury it? Yes. We're making a time capsule. A time capsule? What's that? None of your business, worm. Henry. You put something in a time capsule and bury it so that when someone in the future finds it, they'll know all about you. Why don't you take one of your other toys? No! I don't want to give anything else away! I want to take my slime in! Oh, I would take in a book of poems! Oh, what a lovely idea, Peter! You are a good boy! <coughs> don't be hurried, Henry! Now go and get dressed! And Henry! You are not taking that slime into school. You'll have to find something else for your time capsule. <laughs> Henry! Hurry up! We're going to be late! Psst. Bye, Bunny. Be good today. Ugh, stupid Bunny! Here is our time capsule. Who will be the first to put something special in it? Margaret? Oh, football boots, because I'm really good at football. Very good, Margaret. Um, my biggest encyclopedia. My favourite toy car. Thank you, everyone. Very good. Henry, I'm sure you've forgotten to bring something in, as usual. No, miss. I've brought something. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. Thank you, Henry. That will do. Uh, now would be good, Henry. Follow me, class. Message to the future. Margaret smells. <laughs> Ow! Quiet, please, class. Let the hole be dug. Inside, everyone, now. Bury it when the rain stops. What is it, Henry? Can I have my pocket money now, Dad? Uh, yes, in a moment. Dad! Oh, what is it now? I can't find Bunny anywhere! <laughs> what have you done now, Henry? Me? Bunny's gone! I'll never see him again! <laughs> Come on, Peter. I'm sure he's somewhere. Let's go and look for him. Henry, do you know where Bunny is? No. Well, uh, not exactly. Henry, if you want any pocket money ever again,
Then you'd better get Bunny back. Fast. Oops. Better get digging. No! <gasps> This'll take forever. Unless I can get somebody to help me. So who told you there was treasure buried here? Everyone knows that, don't they, Bert? I don't know. We're going to be rich. I'm going to buy every chocolate bar in the world. I want my own gym. Hey, Bert, found anything? I don't know. Henry, there's something down here. It's one of these time capsules. Huh? There's nothing in it. No treasure. No nothing. Come on, let's keep digging. I bet there never was any treasure. How come these are all empty? I don't know. I'm going home. Thanks for nothing, Henry. They were all empty. I want my bunny. Where can he be? Maybe he's been kidnapped by aliens. <laughs> I want bunny back. <laughs> Henry, you have got to find bunny, or else. I've got to find out what happened to those time capsules. Eureka! That's it! Yes! I, Henry, have a plan! This is a disgrace! If any of you know anything about the identity of these hooligans, please come forward. I bet they were boys. Miss? Henry, no! Miss? We mustn't give in to these hooligans! Henry? Uh, no, quite! We should bury another capsule to show them we won't be beaten. Excellent idea, Henry. Uh, come on, children. What's your game? Henry, have a gold star. Oh, thank you. Maybe the children of the future would like it. How unusually unselfish, Henry. Well done. Right. Let's get this capsule buried. Yes. Al, you're good at digging. Shh. Uh, I mean, you probably are. Now we wait. Yes. Oh, this is a bit embarrassing. Um, I, uh, I like to keep a souvenir of all the children who pass through my school. Did you dig up all the other boxes as well? Yes. Everything's in my attic at home. It's my way of remembering you all. Couldn't you just take a photo of us? Look, Henry. If anyone were to find out about this, it might, um, well, it might be a bit awkward. Henry, do your parents know you're out this late? All right. I won't tell if you won't. Promise? Promise. But I need Bunny back. Of course. 
Though that means I won't have anything to remember you by. Still, you're probably the one child I have no wish to remember and will probably never forget. I can live with that! now. Henry, do you know what this is? It's my slime. Uh-oh. It's my slime. Yes, and Miss Battleaxe found it at the scene of a crime. Apparently, you organised the trashing of the school gardens. Well... And it's going to cost a lot to replant everything. But... So that means no pocket money for you for a very long time. Well, well, well. Ralph, Al and Bert. It's payback time, Henry. Uh, uh sorry, can't stop. Uh-uh. We've got a score to settle, remember? Really? Oh! 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 Hey! <laughs> <laughs> now it's your turn, Henry. Yeah, who's laughing now? I don't know. Uh-oh! Uh, Miss Battleaxe is coming this way! Oh, no! Even worse! Miss Oddbog, too! We're not falling for that old trick. Right, my mistake. It's only my mum. Nice try, Henry. Henry! Hurry up! <laughs> See you later! You wait till tomorrow. We'll get you for this. In your dreams, nobody catches Henry with his trousers down. Nobody! Great Aunt Greta! Yes! Golly! <laughs> Dear Henrietta, you hmm? must be such a big girl by now, so I know you'd love a pair of big girl's pants. <laughs> I'm a boy! <laughs> what? You think I'd be seen? Uh, uh, no, uh, probably not. Oh, go away! Henry! Uh, Margaret! Who let you in? Your mum, where's my dungeon drink kit? I want it back. Oh, uh, it's... Um... What have you got behind your back? Me? Uh, nothing! Show me! It's nothing! Your dungeon drinks kit. I knew it was somewhere. Thank you. By the way, Henry, they're going to get you tomorrow and I'll be watching. <laughs> tomorrow is another day. <gasps> Henry! Oh. Henry! Get dressed now! Oh. No! Leave me alone! Henry! For the last time, you will be late for school! So, 52 take away 91 plus 25 Don't forget, is... Don't get you! You'll have to catch me first. Henry, face the front. <laughs> <laughs> and for goodness sake, stop fidgeting. Have you got ants in your pants? Uh, I don't think so, Miss Battleaxe. Shall I have a look? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing great on Greta's underpants! What am I going to do? Uh-oh! If 
they catch me, I'm toast! This can't be happening! I need pants! Where can I get some pants? You wicked! Fancy! The lost property cupboard! Uh, uh, please, miss, I need the toilet! <gasps> All right! Five minutes, not a second more! Oh, there must be some pants in this lot! Please, please, please! Aha! Oh, these will have to do. What can I do now? I need to swap my pants with someone. But who? Yes! And the three little pigs answered... Not by the hair on our chinny-chin-chins! And the big bad wolf called out... I've come for Peter! <gasps> He's got a dentist appointment! Really, Peter? I don't remember you bringing a letter. I didn't. I went to the dentist last week. He said my teeth are perfect. No, remember, Peter, you had a terrible toothache this morning. When? Ow! See? He's just trying to be brave. Oh, poor you, Peter. You better go. This isn't the dentist. No, this is more important. I've heard bad things about you. Well, not that I walked across the story carpet. Worse than that, embarrassing things. I've heard you wear baby pants. Baby pants? No, I don't. Look! <laughs> Daffy Daisy pants? They're the most babyish of all. If anyone finds out, you'll be laughed at. Oh, no. What can I do? Give them to me. I'll hide them until we get home. But what will I wear? These. But they're the pants Great Aunt Greta sent you. You said you wouldn't be seen dead in them. Uh, that was yesterday. Today they're cool. All the big kids wear them. I don't care. I'm not putting them on. <laughs> Henry, I know you're in there. Time is up. Miss Buzzlelax! Which is worse? No knickers or pink knickers? Henry! Come in! So, Peter tells me you're taking him to the dentist? Uh, we got lost. You can stay in at lunchtime. Oh, this is all your fault. Yeah, lunchtime! Stay in! Great idea! Henry, did you do that? Yes, miss. Uh, shall I stay in at lunchtime? It wasn't Henry, miss. It was me. And me? Yes? You too, Bert? I don't know. Oh, get out! The lot of you! I've had enough! Office now. Nearly home time. I knew they'd never catch me. Books away now. Get checked. 
changed for the games. Games? It's not games today. <laughs> it's always games on Tuesday. No, it can't be. And Henry, I don't care if aliens ate your pee kit. No excuses. <laughs> yes, Henry, no excuses. Oh, no? I've got the perfect excuse. What now? <laughs> oh, oh, you've forgotten your underpants, have you, Henry? <laughs> 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 Quiet. Well, Henry, this is your lucky day. <laughs> Look what I found in the boys' toilets. <gasps> you can wear these. <laughs> <laughs> Show and tell tomorrow, Fang, and I've got the perfect thing for it. Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring that horrid hamster to school? 
This is all your fault, worm. You wouldn't lend me your mummy. Now Fang's lost, all alone. Poor Fang. Worm! <laughs> what about poor Ross? It was a real shock, wasn't it, God? A rat here in our school. I will not tolerate a rat in my school. Drastic measures are called for. The rat will be disposed of immediately. Walk! Don't run! Ralph, get your finger out of there! No escape this time!
any rats. Actually, I thought I saw one. In the staff room. The staff room. Now it's gone too far. Come on, Sid. I'm going to splat that rat. And when I get back, it's show and tell time, Henry. Uh. 